What's up, everybody? Jace here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Breaking open 2020 Bowling Baseball. Jumbo, eight box full case break. Pick your teams number seven on our website. And again, another $200 has been given away in this break if you buy two or more teams. Uh, multiples of two, so four teams will do two entries. Uh, <laughs> so at the end of the break, we'll uh, give away some break credit. Top four get $50 break credit codes each. So we'll see who makes the cut for that. And... Uh, Here's the list though. We gave away two teams in a little pack break. So Red got the Tigers, and as you can see, Matthew got the Rangers. How much were those top two? Do you know how much those were? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? And we were selling for 1100? My God. But you can get, it's because they put it to demand. So it, you know, you're guaranteed. If you bought 100 of the trouts, the first one that they made, for twenty bucks each, you can resell each one for twelve hundred bucks, no and you would have been able to get all hundred. But the print run was so low on it because people like made fun of it. Yeah. Anything it'd be, but now it's catching like catching fire. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're all. They look cool. I mean, I've seen the, I've seen the one of his two thousand eleven tops up there. But people are trying to do the whole set. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. That's what makes them so expensive. But my thing is that, well, they only get more expensive as it passes by. Well, but more people are going to be buying the $20 one, you know? Yeah, exactly. So the current one's going to go up. There's going to be less of them. Or so there's going to be more of them. So basically get rid of it now. But the Nolan Ryan is already printed, you know? Yeah. So you can't buy any more for 20 bucks. Gotcha. It's like the tops now where they leave it up for 24 hours. 24 hours, right. That's right. So you buy as many as you want, and then, yeah, and then once it's, it's over, down. it's over. Gotcha. Well, that makes sense. Cause yeah, once they don't make anymore, that's it. Yeah. However many they made, but they don't they don't get stamped, right? They're just made. Yeah, they're just made. And yeah. I think they send out like random like gold frame ones and yeah. ones and stuff like that. And then they have like artist proofs. And yeah. whole bunch of things. They're making fans of that. Topsies. Crazy guys. I know, dude. I was gonna say, <laughs> someone else is gonna do the same thing. <laughs> They're gonna do like a Banksy Zion. Yeah. Like you remember that? Yeah, remember that guy that created it? Big, the cracked ice, the purple. Yeah. That'd been so cool if they make one of those. Yeah, probably. Yeah, well, it's because people like that kind of stuff. It's pretty popular now. And the artists have a lot of followers. Yeah. Even if you don't like sports, they might just buy it. Anyway. Hey, remember that guy that was here talking to that smoking joke for like 24 hours? Yeah. <laughs> Cooper John's in purple to 250. 39,000 on the trail that ended today. The trail was selling for for a ton and was print run of 2,911. Oh, so they tell you how many they actually printed? Yeah. They do it they do have the top now. Oh, wow. I, I really didn't get it. I remember, you know who bought a lot of that stuff? Gary bought a lot of stuff when Otani's stuff yeah. was like his rookie stuff. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see that. But now, everyone, I mean, everyone's gonna, I don't know if it's gonna keep going up because 40,000 made, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot, yeah. It's, that's like more than a paper base card. It's like crazy. I mean, it probably won't dip below 20 bucks, I would imagine. No, yeah, you're still gonna get a good return, but might as well sell it now while it's super hot. If you buy like five of them, just get rid of a couple and then keep one. Edward?
It's a new way to get another stimulus check right there for that much. Buy a $20 trout to turn it to $1,200. Dang. Bryce Wilson. Get by the Yankees in a price. I know. <laughs> Trade that trout for the Yankees. Boom! Oh my god. Killed him. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's the dude who won, um, yeah, the last couple of weeks Big ass dude. Ngani? No. Oh, over in one, like, last week. Was it Ngan Francis Ngani? Did he fight? I think so. I don't remember who over was fighting, but he Did won. Did you see his, the, yeah, I got that. And, ooh, look at that, Andrew Vaughn. Nice, we're getting some Bowen 1990s now. There you go. Three out of 30 for the White Sox. What number is it? UNC 240 something? Yeah, somewhere in the 200s. Huh? White Sox, Jeremy Tillman. Nice. Well, Overeem was the one that just fought. Yeah, Francis and Don. His fight's crazy. I can't believe that Overeem dude's been fighting for like 30 years already. Or like 20 plus years. He's fought in three different decades already. Or four decades, sorry. He was in the late 90s, in the early 2000s, and then the 2010s, and now in the 20s. Dominguez. It was a 20 second knockout that Francis had gotten. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was UFC. Oh, over he fought. That's right, he fought Walt Harris. That's right. It was the one two weeks ago. Gotcha. Yo, and over him, I think, just turned like, I don't know, 40 or something. Overeem's a beast too, man. He's been fighting everywhere. He fought in Japan, kickboxing. I think the only belt he's never had is a UFC belt. Um, and just sad because he's such a good fighter. He's gotten there a couple times, but man, that dude just gets knocked out, but then he comes back and just knocks out other people. That dude's chin is like ice, right? Or what do they call it? But then at the same time, he knocks people out too. <laughs> But yeah, I think he's one of the few fighters in like history of the MMA, not just UFC, but the MMA to have a strike force belt, a pride belt, kickboxing belt, like all at the same time or something. And I remember he fights in those Japan tournaments where you're fighting like all day and you get like 10 fights in. It's crazy. He was like one of my favorites. My brother used to like Fader a lot, so I used to like him a lot. Yeah, man, give that guy props. That's crazy. Can't wait till Fight Island. <laughs> I know, right? No, you know what? Speaking over him, this is the first time he's fought since his lip exploded. Do you remember I know, that? That's, gross, yeah. <laughs> I know, like, that's so nasty. It's like fully exploded. It's crazy. I, I, he eats horse meat. He eats horse meat. He was never caught for juice. <laughs> At least not that I remember. He, eats, he always talked about he ate horse meat. I was like, whoa, dude, you eat horse meat? He says, like, the leanest meat. Alright, good luck, guys. Next one. Dominguez top 100. Feliciano. <laughs> I like that one UFC chick, but she, that, she lost last fight. 
Which one? Michelle Waterson. Ah. Uh, she's good. She's yeah. the prettiest one right now. Right now, yeah. Alec Bohm, yellow paper. Gorman shimmer to fifty. Forrest Whitley two fifty. All right, guys, next box. And nice, Brennan Davis to 299. Look at that, Red. Your third. Third. I'm a speckle. Uh, what's the question, Aaron? Have you ever had... Loaded Shark? Is that what you're trying to say? Yellow yeah, Cruz.
No, never had anything like that, no. The only thing I ever had when I mixed like a like like beer and, and tequila was like one of those like Corona margaritas. I forget what they call them. You know, where like it's the margarita but then the bottles in it. And you kinda just tip it over to let the beer flow through. But no, I've never had that before, no. Or is it just like, ooh, just wrong? Is this it's just strong? Oh man, mixing is like, you already know what's gonna happen there. I've been craving a beer though, to be honest, man. It's been a while. Throughout this whole like quarantine or stay at home, um, one of my older sisters would come over to my, my parents' house. But like, you know, she didn't really drink beer, so whenever I was there with her, it was always just like margaritas or, or, you know, she loves Hennessy. She she likes straight up like hard liquor. So it was like, it's always stuff like that. I know, definitely, dude. I'd like to make a trip up there. My wife, Vanessa, has some family members up in that area. Like, I think one of them is on, like, McFarland, which I don't think is too far from there, right? Oh, nice. Yeah, I've never been to, uh, been to her cousin's house there, although my mother-in-law always used to go there a lot, obviously before COVID. Um, used to go there with uh, with her dad, Vanessa's grandpa, to go visit the cousin. So they were always kind of up there like once a month, but we can never really make our way up there because we're always working. Bobby Bradley. Well, he's always invited us to go up there, so... Maybe one of these days now. A little weekend trip. Oh, nice. Yeah, and there's a couple of family members that are like near Modesto. I think the little city town is called Waterford. I don't know if you know about it, but I've never been there either. But there was like a lot of times when, I, when me and my wife or my girlfriend at the time were dating, she was always over there. I never really made my way over there. So yeah, there's a couple of reasons. There's always a couple of places that I can always go to up there with reason. Don't 
make me, man. Then I won't ever leave. Wish I was celebrating this long weekend tomorrow, but gotta work here. <laughs> so maybe the next long weekend in like September or something, I'll have those that Sunday or Monday off. All right, guys. Next two boxes. Valera to two fifty. I know. Pool will be ready. Yeah. So what's going on, man? Are you still gonna go to Vegas in in, Ju in June? Can't believe we can actually say it's probably gonna happen, right? I feel like we were talking about this like yesterday, and it's already been like two months, almost three months. Where do you work at, Mark? If you don't mind me asking. I don't know if you've told me before, but I don't remember. Jason Dominguez. Ah, oh, what? Why do they want to move to the MGM Grand? Are they going to use... Oh, you know what? Are they using the Aria for something? Oh, no, wait. Where were you at again? You were staying at the... At the... Um, The new old Monte Carlo, right? What is the new one again called again? Uh, Park MGM? That's right. So why'd they want to move you there? Shimmer, terrain. Oh, gotcha, Mark. So, so, so they're only opening up a couple of. Uh, so they're only opening up a couple of uh, casinos then in Vegas, right? They're probably gonna be like, this one's open, this one's not open, this one's open. Kind of in a way. Social distance, some casinos. I don't know if you guys have seen the news, guys, but a couple of the Indian reservation resorts or casinos here in SoCal have opened up, and man. Like Morongo's an 18 and over casino here. It was like a two hour wait to get in there the other day. It's crazy. People just, just so eager to go back to the casino. Jones. Gomez first for the Phillies. From Michigan, Rex. I've been out of the loop of everything. I don't watch the news like I used to regularly anymore. Just local. Go to Twitter on on the Twitter pages.
Connor Cannon for the Giants. Oh, well, that's like us too. I don't think, I think we're extended till like June 30th or something. So if we plan to open the retail store, it won't be until like July. Although not that we've needed to open the retail store. It's just there's a lot of eager locals that, you know, want to bring their kids in and look at our singles boxes and stuff where it's like, we need to figure out what we're going to do with that because... We don't want everybody touching everything. <laughs> but a lot of people have been picking up curbside, which has been fun. So, still going well. I mean, all it is is just trying to be a little safe, that's all. You know, and obviously, you know, until we come up, until we have a vaccine out, available for everybody, it's something that we're always going to have to keep keep our distance from or cautious about, right? I think the world's gonna change regardless. You hear someone coughing in line, you're gonna be like, whoa. <laughs> you know? But again, everybody has their own, uh, They, if they wanna go out and do things that are reopened, they can. If others don't, they don't have to. You know? It's, it's, it's really one's personal choice. They're going to know the risks, right? If you go out and about with a big crowd. Just like with anything. Bill Gates wants to microchip us? Damn. He warned us about COVID like five years ago or something. I remember seeing that clip on Twitter. We were just having like a little seminar. Xbox guys. Sorry guys, I thought someone was coming into the store or something. First for Cleveland, Oscar Gonzalez. Talented pipelines for the Red Sox. Mm -hmm. 
And another Oscar Gonzalez this time to 50. For Cleveland. Matthew Gomes. And Sejas for St. Louis. Jeffrey. Dominguez. Second half of the box. Oh, what up, man? Well, we're booked already, Ryan, for the day. Uh, Joe pushed back a couple of these Bowman breaks yesterday for today, so um, we're pretty much booked. Here's the schedule here of what we'll be breaking today, and then the rest of it will be breaking tomorrow. So after this, jumbo number eight or seven will be a couple cello packs. Then some Crown Royale, then some Basketball Retail, number 16, and then after that, just killing off another two Jumbo Bowman breaks, and then that'll be it for us. So tomorrow, there won't be that much Bowman. If there is, it's just going to be a couple of Hobby breaks, but that's pretty much it, so not like six cases worth like we did today. Uh, it'll just be like two or three Hobby, and that's it. So that'll give us more time to break other things tomorrow so I think the breaks that got pushed back tomorrow are definitely the select football number one and select baseball uh, PYT number five I think it is so obviously you can still get your spots and breaks but they won't be breaking until tomorrow Nah, man, no days off here right now. All right, I love feel you. I'll take a day off in a couple weeks. Got to get through all this stuff. We appreciate it, though, man. Yeah. Check back in a little later today or tomorrow. Don't matter. But, yeah, tomorrow we should be able to do, like, those select breaks. We should be able to do the mixer tomorrow. Um, you know, everything else that is on the website that we could break before the pre-orders of uh, of Noir Basketball later this week. And we'll cool off a little bit on Jumbo, guys, but we're getting... Oh, there you go. Little Jason Dominguez. Just a base. But there you go for the Yankees. And that's going to Jameson. Pick your team number seven, Yankees. Nice. I think these are still roughly around 1700 to 2000 so there you go. That pays for the Yankees right there, right? Seth Beer. No problem, man. I'm glad I was able to get one. I know you got him in number six. 
So I'm glad I was able to get you one here, man. Alright, we still have two boxes, so. Again, I've seen cases where there's been multiple Jason Dominguez. I've seen three Dominguez autographs in one case. Crazy to say that, but I have. So, there could be some other more Dominguez, or there could be some more other big hits hiding in here, these last two boxes. So, let's see what we got. Last two boxes right here, guys. All right, last two boxes here, guys. Montero. And we got Short Ridge to 250. Pittsburgh. Going to Travis. Brennan Davis. Wow, look at that. Another one, Red. There you go. Very nice there for the Cubs. Bobby Witt. And AJ Puck to 4.99 rookie. What up, C Shep? Uh, here's the break schedule right here. I'm if you want to click this Google Doc. Uh, we're pretty much booked for the night, but you can see what breaks are coming up if you're in them or just curious. If there's a break on the list, if there's a break that's sold out that's not on the list, it's gonna break tomorrow. Luis Robert, look at that speckle. White Sox. And Encarnacion for Miami. Charles J. Samuelson.
some Shrek 2, guys. Also, guys, I think we'll be a little ahead of schedule for a couple of these breaks here. So I could probably squeeze in a little lunch break. Maybe after the cello packs or something. Smith to 150. A little blue there for the Yankees. More for Jameson. Ronnie Mauricio. Uh, it's going to go tomorrow, Steve. Here's the break schedule here, man. If you look at it, you'll see. But yeah, select football, I'll select baseball, while I'll go tomorrow. And those will probably be the first breaks I do tomorrow. <clears throat> and like I said, the majority of all the Bowman will be broken today. If there is any Bowman left over till tomorrow. Nice, Volpe. Look at that. I told you this case. It's going to be pretty loaded with that Dominguez in there. To 250. Volpe Red sold for 3.5K, guys. So... Any other colors might sell pretty well. Very nice. Um, so yeah, that'll give me time to also go through orders a little later today if I finish a little early and get ready for tomorrow. But all the Bowman cases pretty much are for today. If there are some Bowman tomorrow, it's just going to be one or two hobby breaks. And that'll pretty much be it. Then no more Bowman until later in the week when we receive the rest of the best second batch of cases that we're getting sent out by Tops and the Distributors and stuff. Yeah, I'm telling you, I've been noticing that when there's a Dominguez autograph, it's a freak. It's a freaking loaded case. It's like a hot case. Obviously, this is only what our fourth or fifth Dominguez. I mean. Out of all of the cases we've done, so and I feel like those cases we have done with Dominguez and I'm having pretty solid. Hogan Harris. Oakland. Going to Aaron. Last sec, uh, last half of the box should be at least maybe one more auto in here. Campusano. Fire in the hole. Is that Bobby Witt actually? That was Bobby Witt.
Cody Holsey. break for the Yankees here. Alrighty guys, so let's do a little recap. Chrome insert. Paper Dominguez. Chrome insert. Chrome paper. Chrome insert. Chrome paper. Chrome insert. Chrome insert. Paper insert. Paper. Chrome. There you go. I always just like to count up to see how many of them we get. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven paper cards. Looks like about three first chrome. And it looks like about one, two, three, four, five, six inserts. Nice. Nice little lot right here that adds up. Now, let's go with the autos, guys. Good luck. We got Jerron Yankees to 499, Harris. Volpe to 250, Purple, Smith to 150, Encarnacion, AJ Puck to 499, Brennan Davis, Shortridge, Dominguez, Sejas, Eric Rivera, Sejas again, Gonzalez, first gold, Gonzalez, uh, Speckle, Cannon, Jones, Valera, Bobby Bradley, De La Cruz, Brennan Davis, Speckle, Feliciano, little Andrew Vaughn, 1990s, Edwards and Cooper Johnson to 250 for Detroit. Nice case. Again, this was Jumbo Pikachu number seven. Now let's give away some break credit. Remember, two or more teams equals one entry. Number seven. So Aaron, looks like you got into the break credit giveaway with two spots. So there you go. Let's put you here on this one. Adam Armando Charles, you're in. Chris down in EA with two. You're in. Eric Jameson, Jared Goldberg, you're in. Tillman just won. Proust with two, you're in. And then Mark, one, two, three, four. So Mark, you got two entries, you're in. Matthew Gomes, you have two. You're in. Matthew uh, Red. You have three, but you bought two in here, so you just need one more, but you only get one entry. Trust. All right, so there you go, guys. There's all the customers that are part of the break credit giveaway. And let's give away some break credit. Top four. Get $50 each after. One and two, three times. Good luck. One, two, three. Boom. Three times. Jeffrey, Aaron, Josh, and Mark. $50 and break will be coming your way a little bit later tonight, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, Picker team number eight is our last jumbo picker team for this night and this week. We'll have more later in the week. Appreciate it, guys.